Hey, I'm so excited to bring to you today the upscaled to 4K video of Mo Norman from 1992 with Shot Tracer, where we can watch shots that he hit and hear what he says about his golf swing. Hey, it's Todd Grays. Welcome to the channel. So one of the things that I've been fortunate to do is collect a lot of videos of Mo Norman. This particular video you're going to see here is one where Dr. Jim Suddy, who knew Mo Norman very well, a great instructor and I have become good friends over the years and, and he was very fond of Mo and he shot a video with Mo in 1992. And this video was grainy and he, you know, back in the day when you shot it on VHS yeah. tapes, it wasn't in great shape. But what you're going to see in this is I've upscaled it. I had a company spend time to change the resolution of the video so you can see the club better, you can see Mo better, brighten up the video. So you're going to see a much better video of Mo. Plus I've added some shot tracer to the video so you can see where his shots are going. Probably some of the first time you're ever going to see shot tracer on Mo. Whatever suits your muscles. Yeah. He wants to make the toe live, I don't. Yeah. You want Keep the, I, keep don't, I don't want the toll. I don't want the toll live at all. There's my way. Lose Never it. lose it left then. Nope. Never. Not my way. Never go left as long as I live. Watch your dead straight. Just as straight as you can get it. <laughs> See you later. Thank you for that. Huh? Oh, you're welcome. Just like oh. a machine. Here, as you can hit it. Right there. That is good. You're probably tired, aren't you? No. Not you, tired? You don't get tired doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Well, they're Hogan or Mangrum. Or, that's true. <laughs> that's peanuts. <laughs> you mean this is worth a thousand? Oh, the greatest? sure. Well, <laughs> 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 I didn't come here for the good of my health. <laughs> <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> First what? time he sees me in 20 years and he won't change me. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta ask you, what, what do you hit these wedges with? Your legs? Yep. Knees. 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 Just my knees. Just your knees. Just That's my knees. That's what I thought. No hands at all. Just, no hands, all legs. my knees, watch. Balls always <laughs> goes at, the ball always goes at the flag. Mm-hmm. You do change the ball position, I see, don't you? Oh, yeah, with a wedge, yeah. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Huh. Never offline. Who's the best wedge player that you've ever seen? Hard to He's the best driver. My friend at home, I guess, Nick Westlock. Is he? Nick the Wedge, that's his nickname. Nick the Wedge. Mine's Pipeline Mo, and his Nick the Wedge. Nick the Wedge? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Pipeline Mo. <laughs> <laughs> Say. Yeah. How do you get the name Pipeline Mo? Just Venturi called me that. Really? First time he played with me in 57. Huh. At home, in Canadian Open. <laughs> that's what he started calling me. <laughs> yeah, he he, he uh, does that so he doesn't have to. Uh, um, Why do you strain up your legs like that? Well, he told me once, I forget. Mo, why do you have the club on a dress that far back of the ball? Just, <laughs> just hoping it suits me. Yeah. Suits my mental makeup. That's super. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Always has been. There's 200 balls and look, I already know, not, not these, but... <laughs> no divots. I already know I was there. Superintendents like you. Yeah. You don't think much of the modern swing then. Oh, terrible. Yeah. Oh, 
terrible. That's what's hit. It's not a golf move anymore what they're teaching. No. It's not a golf move. Teaching people to get on top of the ball. It's not a golf move. Mm-hmm. It's not rhythmical anymore. Mm-mm. No. They don't let their swing balance in. Look, it throws them off balance. Yeah. Look at that, I haven't been off balance once. Mm-mm. My swing balances me. Watch, my swing will balance me. So you come up as a result of your of your club swinging you. Sure. Sure. That's solid. That a little draw on it there. Oh, I like that. For a forward. <laughs> Watch this. Yeah, I like that. Here's I think anybody would like that. Here, here it is again. Here's the feeling of greatness. How many course records do you hold? 41 at one time. 41? Yeah. Down to about 28 now. Hmm. All in Canada? Oh, no. Down Florida. In Florida. Florida. 28 yeah, course records. Yeah, 59 three times. Shot 59 three times. Hmm. Hey, Mo, is that story a wedge driver, driver wedge? Is that a true story? Yeah, I do that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> when you get the forward this good, why not? Yeah. I hit my forward two feet in the hole. Instead of hitting the wedge two feet, I hit the forward two feet. What the hell? What's the difference? <laughs> get the forward like that? It's only two feet. <laughs> what about Nicholas's action? What do you think? Terrible. Terrible. Ooh, terrible. <laughs> He's just, he, right now he looks bad, doesn't he? Bertha just showed me why. What a difference. He's got pictures of him today. Oh, yeah. And 30 years ago. Yeah, he used to get behind it. He doesn't oh, anymore. You can't believe it's the same guy. Yeah. I can't. What he showed me just two hours ago. Yeah. I couldn't believe it's the same guy. He, he His back is hurting him, too, of course. No wonder. Yeah. <laughs> Hell, he, he's coming down to the 7 Club here. Now it's... Way out his there. Right arm, his right arm is... Way out. Way from him. Yeah. Oh, can you ever see when he's got pictures of him? Yeah, I ought to go sit, look at him. No turn then, huh? No can't. No. <laughs> this is in his way. <laughs> yeah. Right side's not getting behind him. Can't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, you watch him go back now. Yeah. Look. It's not. <laughs> yeah. So, so he can't be rhythmical. No. That's pretty pure. Yeah, that's a nice little draw. He says why hit driver in the Forward. That's a forward. Yeah, that's why I say why hit driver. Is this me? I could come down. Yeah. The lighter the better. Right. Oh, the more I can. Hold him on to put his hands in this pocket if he could. Really? Put his downswing. I know he never could, but he could put it in this pocket easy, easy with both kids. Mm -hmm. He wanted to be able to put him in this pocket. That's how flexible he wanted to be. See. On his downswing. Right. Way behind him. Here's Hogan. Look, way behind. I really, <laughs> look, yeah. can't go left to save your soul. Slows my hands down. Slows his hands down, yeah. What's the biggest secret in this game? The biggest secret in this game is left the gate. The biggest secret in this game is left the gate. Quiet hands. Quiet hands. Cup of coffee, That's how do you pick it up? Fast? <laughs> Boing. Yeah, you pick it up fast though. <laughs> That's right. Don't laugh, I'm serious. Yeah. <laughs> I see. You kind of don't billow your fuck. I'll actually pick it out. Yeah, fast, yeah. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now why? Yeah. Sure. Well, here's the quietest hand you ever saw. Watch. Still, still 230 yards. The quietest hand you ever saw. Huh. I'm trying to break the ball with my chest and my legs, but not my hands. Here, I'll break the club this time with my legs. Ooh, pure fight any better than that all you sure have. <laughs> Go out there and catch that, it wouldn't hurt you. No. It's coming down like a nine iron. Even with range balls. Give me Velada. Ooh, it's like an airplane. <laughs> Watch this. Oh, is that pure? Oh, is that ever pure? So simple.
just repeats one right after another. That's what's so amazing. I do one thing. I do one thing great. And nobody else does. Keep the same pressure all the way through. Same pressure in your hands. All the way from start to finish. Tight, tight with your left and. Start to finish. I'm, I'm just the same up here. If you freeze me there, bring me back. Same. Don't you think that's easier because you have a strong grip to begin with? Probably. Watch, I'm still firm at the top. Watch. Hmm. Okay. Yep. Oh, that's pure. Is that pure? Is that pure? All lower. Upper just turns, lower oh. slides. Oh, yeah. Watch this for purity. So the slide keeps it down the line longer, right? Couldn't Right. That's just the opposite of what everybody's teaching now. I know. I know. Mm -hmm. That's what I can't understand. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I can't understand. Yeah. No wonder there's no good strikers. Mm -hmm. The world's upside down. Mm -hmm. People are upside down. Like they hit a golf ball. Mm -hmm. Pure and straight and simple. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Hit it 50 yards for them. Do you really? I don't know, that's what they say. <laughs> so yeah. simple. Now, can't hit it offline if I want it. I can't hit it offline if I want it. Put one iron's at. Four. Hmm. Hit it wherever I want. I can't hit it offline. No hook or no slice. No hands at all. Just legs and chest. Keep the hands passive. How do you do that? How do you keep, keep them? Soft. Just nice. keep them soft. Keep them soft. Drive with my left, my left leg. Left knee? Yep. That's pretty pure there. You never take a dip. Just comb the grass. You'll never see a dip. Because you come in shallow, right? Oh, do I ever. Watch this. Is that pure? <laughs> oh, watch. Hmm. No moving parts. I got no moving That's parts. That's good. Put a club down for him so he knows where he's aiming. Right there. Give him a line and he'll hit it right where you tell him to. Oh, heck. <laughs> heck. Looks like yourself. Ten years ago it was the same. So simple. Yeah, that is. What do you think the most important thing in the swing is? Tempo. Tempo. And stay balanced. Balance and tempo. And, and uh, don't fight it. Mm -hmm. Never fight your line, like Newton said. Keep it natural. Mm -hmm. As natural as can be, what? I'll keep this very natural. Yeah, that Nothing was. fighting. Why do you extend so much this way? I've always wondered. Keeps the club on line, the ball can't get off line. In other words, you don't believe in letting it turn to the left? Ooh, not a drop. Huh. The right hand never goes over my left. Mm -hmm. Always. Trevino-like. Mm -hmm. I had this before you ever heard of him. Watch. Yeah, never go left as long as you live. Never go left. Can't. And that's the way to play, really, isn't it? Oh, I sure? Mm -hmm. You only can say one thing to a hook. Sit down, sit down. <laughs> That's all you can say to a hook. <laughs> Sit down, you mother. Watch. My, and my big toe never moves on my left foot. What do you mean by that? Oh, outside of the left foot. Never, never moves. The toe how never do you moves. keep your? How do you Back keep? Through. In other words, you don't slide on it. You're nope. saying no slide. Nope. Just so turn. I, yep. So you never let your hips get in front of your knees, or what you're oh, saying. You never oh, let this behind. happen. Yeah. Oh. That's interesting, yeah. A lot of those guys slide out there, oh, you know. Oh, don't they? Watch this. Yeah, that is pure. Very pure. Everything is so connected. Mm-hmm. Every muscle is so what? Everything's so connected. Look. It's perfect, look. So simple. Mm-hmm. Never take a divot. Watch. 
Why do you start the club back uh, so far from the ball? I eliminate so many things. Everybody should do that. Did you hit the ball better? Really? You can't pick the club up. You can't take it outside. You were eliminating a foot in your swing that you can't, don't have to put into your game. Mm -hmm. And, I can't, I can't, and uh, my right shoulder already is in my turn. I see, yeah, that's right. See? Four things I eliminate. Mm -hmm. See? Look at my right shoulder. Hey, it's already back. Now, it's how already can I turned. Take it unless I. Unless you sway. Oh, I. <laughs> yeah. Look, look. What's the wide stance do for you? Better balance. Really? I notice that your stance is a lot wider than anybody I've ever seen. Right. Balance, look. So, in other it's words, so you want to keep your you want to keep your feet on the ground. You don't want to uh, push. Stay planted. Even at impact. Oh, I should say so. That's pure there. Why do you want the right foot on the ground at impact? Can't get over. Can't get over the top. No, how can you? Yeah. It's impossible. Uh huh. And my see. legs get wider at impact. Yeah. Can't get over it. That's that's amazing. I never thought of that. Can't get over. Uh huh. Put the club way back and wide stance, I can't get over. Mm -hmm. even, even if I want to watch. That's amazing. <laughs> you believe playing out of an open stance? No. Eh? Just, Hell no. Just square, right? You, you walk like that? No. no. The way you walk? Straight. Why oh, certainly. Yeah. But mm -hmm. your arms hang. You don't hang them like that. Yeah. What? Okay, now I see that. Now Everybody play. on the tour what? is open. What? Everybody on the tour is open. They're so wrong. Hogan was closed, I noticed. Sure he was. <laughs> and he had his hands high like you. Sure. Now why why did why are both of you guys Yeah, why, why yeah. Are both of you are like this? I know, and the two best strikers that's ever lived. Is that less moving parts? Is that flat may give you a flatter plane sure, when you Sure, and you can't club can't get offline if it wants to. Right. So your hands are up and yeah. your, your stances are wide and square to closed. That's the only two people I've ever seen that. Uh, of course, I think Newton was closed also, wasn't he? Yep. Newton. And so wasn't Sam Sneed. Yeah. You know Norman. He huh? is, yeah. Yeah. He sure is. I'm from Canada too, I just. But look at. Watch here. That's Mo Norman. Yeah, well, I played, I played golf <laughs> a few tournaments, so he was Did into him. I actually believe I'm going to hit the ball twice. Really? That's what I In other words, believe. you feel like the club's catching the ball. You keep. How can it keep the club so low through it? Is that just what you do with your legs? We play into our legs. Mm -hmm. We don't play on top of our legs. Play, play into play your in. legs. Mm -hmm. What? So you want the left knee flexed at impact? Oh, I should say so. Both. For, and that keeps the club down and in line longer. And no strain on your back. Mm -hmm. Touch wood. I've never been sore in my life. I've been over three million balls and never been sore. Touch wood. Uh -huh. What? It's not going to go left that way. I no, know that. No, no uh -huh. sign. Uh -huh. The toe is never passing the heel. Mm -hmm. The toe is not even in existence. Mm -hmm. The toe is never coming into the play. The toe hmm. of my club is never coming into play. Huh. I'm never making the toe excited. Huh. Nor did Hogan. Watch this. You that one, though. <laughs> but look. Wow. That's super. Jeff, do you have any questions for him? It's pretty hard to have a question when you just hit it straight all the time. Notice your head's way back behind the ball. Ooh. Why? I always want my left eye higher than my right at impact. That way. Because you're, really you're really back. I can't get over. Yeah, same thing. This part of the golf stick doesn't even exist. Mm -hmm. Center to the toe, not even there. Hmm. It's not even part of the golf stick. Hmm. Are you, you going to teach anybody to hit it here? No. no. So why put it into play? Yeah. I never do. What? That's solid there. What? 
Not the hips, hips stay there, watch their shoulders. Yeah, the hips do stay there, that's what I was noticing. Everybody else's hips rotate early. They're spinning like a blue top. Yeah. To hit a little golf ball. Yeah. <laughs> and then they wonder why they can't repeat. See how shallow his divots are, Jeff? How do you get shallow divots? Keeping everything level. Swing plane, everything's level. Everything is so level. Hip turn, shoulder turn everything. level. Everything. Feel yeah. like you're turning your shoulders this way then. This way. Mm -hmm. On top of one another, not mm -hmm. around. On top. One thing I notice about your swing also is that I don't see in other players is you look like you sit, get lower in the back. Go sit, slide, Bob. You do that on sure. purpose. Okay. Stabilize, energize, contain, and then release. Mm-hmm. Not strike, steer, steer, and stall. <laughs> Here, I'll buckle, sit, slide, bump. <laughs> sure, if I need better than that, I'll eat your hat. <laughs> Watch here, dead, dead perfect. Now, you dress the ball with that, the club outside the ball. Is there a reason for that, too? Sure. What's, sure. what's the reason? So you get more inside coming down? Sure. More compactness? Mm-hmm. If I go just a little, mm -hmm. just and bring it away. I'm afraid of hitting that in my downswing. <laughs> What's your extension on the backswing? You... Oh, yeah. When I was a kid, 41 inches. 41 inches. I used to practice by the hour. Just training my muscles. 41 inches. Look That's at that. That's how far back I could get. Really? With your left? Yep. That's the way I used to train my muscles. For mm -hmm. hours and hours. Put a coin. What about on the forward swing? For 22 yeah. inches back through, my blade is still square. Huh. I see. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Now, I see all that in my imagination. So you, pro long as you, live? you probably extend the club longer than anybody. I then. do. Yeah. Now let's talk about stabilization because one of the things that you see in all great golf swings is just the ability to pr produce speed. Like I knew Mo very well. I played a lot of golf with Mo. There was no lack of speed, but all the great players that played with Mo never said anything about him being a short hitter. He was always a very average to longer hitter, and that's what you see in his swing. But I wanna show you why and how he's producing that speed. It comes down to a couple of things, and I've said this in a lot of our instruction about the ability to move a golf swing, the positions you put your body in in a swing, but, but probably just as important as the movement positions is the stabilization of the body. What does that mean? Well. It's, it's a position thing because if your body's in position, it can stabilize. If it's not in position, it can't stabilize. Let me give you a quick example. So if I'm, if I'm setting up and let's say my foot is too turned out, just, just call that an example. You see how that's less stable. My, my, it, it, it promotes a knee flex in my right, my right leg. If I bring this foot in, you see how it promotes the knee being, being stable. The, I, when I rotate, that, that leg can't move. If I turn it in too much, it restricts, so even less movement. So there's a position on my foot that enables the proper amount of rotation and stability. Same with the lead leg. I have rotation here. Notice that I can bend the knee and still be stable. If I had it this way, notice I, I'm, I have to roll it to be stable. If I had too much, I can bend and I'm not stable again. So you can see my foot position can dictate the stability of my lower body. Well, that's happening throughout the swing. So what you see in Mo's motion here is you see his ability to take the golf club, stabilize correctly in the backswing, produce leverage, transition, stabilize it again coming down, keep the leverage and then release, and because of his tilt, square the club at the right place. I wanna go through that again, because this is the beauty of the consistency of the impact position. Because at the end of the day, everything is really about impact, is it not? So let's talk about leverage and impact of most swing. So, and, and this is where, you know, I do these videos and I can get into a lot of detail. I want to inspire you to, to practice this, but I want you to get it right. So I have a hard time piecing this together, saying, hey, go try this one thing, because it all works together correctly. And this is how I, I call a swing a sum of its parts. That's why I'm discussing this with you right now. Watch this for just a minute. So if I get into my correct address position, which has tilt, lead arm orientation. By the way, that's a stabilizing motion here. The head is also a stabilizer. 
So when I set up correctly, my lead arm is oriented correctly with the club face. My trail arm is underneath. The club is lining up with this trail arm. It's also lining up with the lead arm. And here I am in my nice oriented position at a dress, proper tilt to the body. All those things are very important. My hands are correct. I stabilize the backswing, I produce leverage. I stabilize the downswing and I produce leverage, but because of my tilt, the stabilization allows the face to square. So watch how this face easily squares into the ball here. And I hit it perfectly dead straight. How is that? It's because of stability and leverage, stability, rotation, tilt, square the face, release the face. It's a very simple thing to do. It's not hard to do, but most people are not in the correct position. They don't have the proper orientation and they're in a fight with the club face. So watch Mo at the, at the top of his swing here. You're seeing when he gets to the top that he's braced against this leg. And one of the ways I analyze this is I'll draw a line on his leg. Now, what you're seeing is a, is a st stabilizing motion as he rotates into that trail side. Why do you want that stabilizing motion? Because he can transition and change the direction of his weight into the lead leg. Well, this is how he's producing speed. So he's taking this backswing, leveraging against this trail leg, leveraging the club at the top, so now he can transition. And notice how he holds this angle of leverage coming down. He's not consciously doing that again. It's he's produced the angle and he's using the angle. I don't want you to get out there and think you gotta hold this angle. That's a big mistake I see people make. Hope you enjoyed that content today. Give me a bell icon, hit the bell icon, give me a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you enjoy this content because I'm gonna teach you more about Mo Norman and the single plane swing.